It's December 21st, 2022. My name is David, and this is an idea that just just occurred to me um, on um, magnetism across the periodic table, the known periodic table. And uh, um, it occurred to me uh, not too long ago, um, a few weeks ago, that there might be a spectrum of magnetism that is only able to call where like attracts like uh, as strong as a magnet does in the form ferrous metal, noting that that's kind of noisy meaning that iron also attracts manganese, also attracts cobalt, also attracts nickel, can't remember, attracts samarium, attracts gadolinium. Well, what if there is a way to take other metals that don't respond exactly the same way and harness a magnetism that only calls that metal exactly that metal? And it would probably happen from a material that I had learned was called anisotropic. Um, it may have been a, a poorly understood terminology by me. So I ask you, I beg your pardon. What I noticed about an iron bar that's been made magnetized is that it seems to appear crystalline in its structure based off of the organization of the um, atoms, if you will, of the material. I don't want to say atoms particularly with every single type of magnetism that I'm declaring are possible. Um, and maybe maybe an iron magnet in this case is like a universal magnet, like the master magnet that would pull all these mag magnetic materials. But if you turn the iron component off, um, the lodestone, <laughs> then all the other magnet, all the other magnetisms would be able in their delicacy to demonstrate their awesome specificity. So um, the chemical that was of interest was on periodic table of videos. Uh, it's an excellent channel. I love, I love you guys. Uh, they're out of um, the Royal Institution in England. Their chemical was bis bis trimethyl silylaminyl diphenyl phosphorano methanide uranium iodo toluene diide. And, and it, it appeared to be a liquid in a test tube. I was always curious since I got on this thing about crystals if it would be possible to make a monocrystal and a uh, crystal of that and essentially build up the magnetism so that one would be able to, the catch is that stuff needs to be kept at a decent uh, frozen cold temperature. So if there is a way to, that might only be true with, I mean, I don't know. There are vanadates that are interesting. And um, I think even, I think even, I think even sulfur will show itself worthy. Uh, and then we get into the pyrites, noting Apache pyrite showing promise in a whole other way than we knew how to ex more will be revealed. Um, that's a, a cuprous or cupric uh, oxide uh, mixed with iron. So iron seems to be necessary. It might have... I can't really say daughter components because this is not nuclear fission or fusion, but there's even an oxygen eight, which is itself an amazing, uh, under exceptional pressure metal in and of itself. But that that would just be fun to that would just be fun to see in person. In the meantime, um, if we can find some of these crystal, uh, some of these little uh, molecular magnets, magnets only at molecule size, that we could somehow develop a crystal of and dun, 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 get it bigger, that it would only call itself like an aluminum for aluminum magnet. I mean, I guess I'm talking about superatomic nanoclusters here, I believe, mostly. Um, it seemed... I keep coming back to these these acronyms I've been given. Um, S O B O T O V. Uh, I 
And this, this, this can be a fun journey just to discover and see if we can find them. But I definitely still like the idea of an answer section in the back of the book of life. And um, I really, really look forward to that phone call. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you all. God bless you all. Pray for our government to come off shut down because the day I might not have anything to do with it, actually. Maybe it's just the holidays. All right. Happy New Year 23, indeed. Love and peace.